everyone, let's get going. So thank you for coming along again on what I think is actually our second last workout um, of this block. So we'll get started with our warm up. So today we're going to start on our fronts and we're going to start off with scorpions. So we usually do crucifix, it's just the opposite of that. So we're going down onto our stomach and kicking our legs out towards our hands. And we're going to do that for 10. So 10 scorpions in total, five each side. And just mobilizing the spines before we start our workout. And once we've done our 10, we're just going to head into our happy cat, sad cat position. So we're going to do 10 of those in total today. So really just warming up the spine. So dropping the chest down and then moving it through to sad cat. So 10 in total, just moving through. And then once we've done 10 of those, we're going to go on to our backs and do our floor angels. So just the same movement as you would do with snow angels. So keep it in contact with the floor all the way to overhead and back down by your sides. And try and keep that back flat against the floor. So 10 floor angels. And take your time going through the. I'm having a little stretch when I get overhead. And once we have done our floor angels staying on our backs, we're going to go into our glute bridges. So two feet planted on the floor and hands can be in a streamlined position overhead or by your sides and we're going to go for 10 glute bridges so making sure you're taking your time going all the way through we're just in the warm-up phase just need to get everything moving correctly So once you've done your 10 glute bridges, we'll shift round onto our hands and knees again, and we're going to go into thread the needle. So opening up to the side and threading all the way through. And we're going to go five each side. So feel free to have a little pause as you thread through the needle. If you need to open the shoulder up a little bit. So five each side, remembering to lead with the elbow as we open up. And then once we have done 10 in total of those, we're going into our plank position, scapula, squeezes. So we did them before, they're just like mini press ups. So in a plank position, and then just moving your scapula. So kind of those chicken wing parts of the back into position. So 10 of those in total. So the elbows aren't bending, it's just shoulder blades that are moving. 
and you'll probably feel quite warm after this. It's quite hard. So 10 scapula squeezes in our plank position. And then we're going to go into our spider man. So stepping the foot up, opening up to the side for 10. And try and get a strong lunging position there, opening up the hips as we're going to be doing some squats. So make sure the hips are warmed up. And once we've done our 10, we're going to go into our squat to stand. So finding our position as we always do every week. So squatting down, grabbing the toes and straightening the legs just in your own time so five squat to stand going down grabbing the toes straightening the legs and back up again just taking your time seeing how your body feels this tuesday Okay, and once you've done those, we'll go over what our plan is for this session. Just take your time. Okay, I think we're almost there, everyone. Okay, perfect. So if you're here with me, last week we did um a couple of sets of of things so it's going to be quite similar this week we're going to do our first block is going to be eight prisoner squat holds i have a six second hold at the bottom and then side reverse lunge into single leg um, um romanian deadlift so i'll just quickly demonstrate those and so our prisoner squats, hands are behind your head. If you can't quite see me, but hands are behind your head. Wide stance, squat down, hold for a count of six, five, four, three, two, one, stand up again. It's gonna be quite tough on the legs. So we're gonna do eight of those, just taking your time through that. And then our reverse lunge into our RDL, reverse lunge, and then come up, Hinge at the hips and the leg comes straight up. Option to stand back and then go into your lunge and RDL again. Or you can just go straight in. So lunge back, RDL, lunge back. Okay, whatever gives you the most control. So we're going to do five each side on that one. We're going to do this for three rounds. And once I have a rough idea of what we're what pace we're working at i'll give us around 30 seconds in between so we'll do our eight prisoner squats and our five each leg reverse lunge to single leg deadlift have 30 seconds and then we'll do another two rounds of those okay does anyone have any questions before we get going if there is anything that comes up please please message me in the chat that would be great otherwise we'll get going so three uh, sorry, <laughs> eight um, prisoner squats. So starting positions, wide base, and we'll get going in five. Okay, three, two, one, just in your own time. So I trust you to count at the bottom. So eight of these, the legs are going to be screaming. <laughs> So going straight down, chest nice and high, nice and proud when we're at the bottom. We might have to reconsider how many we're doing here. 
because my legs are on fire. <laughs> I don't know about anyone else's. So I've got one more. And then when you're ready into our reverse lunge, single leg RDL. Oh, my balance isn't very good this evening. So just do what's best for you. The legs might be a little shaky after that. So it's okay to put your foot down before going on to the next one. So coming up and hinging at the hip. I told you my balance isn't very good this evening. Taking your time. Okay, so give it a couple of seconds and then I'll give us our 30 second rest. Now I'm actually going to make a change. So listen up, just because eight's quite a lot for the prisoner squat. So we'll, we'll keep it to five in total. Okay, so five prisoner squats in this next round and in the third round as well. Okay, want to make sure that we're keeping good quality. So we'll be going in 20 seconds for round two. Make sure to keep yourself topped up with some water as we go through. I know it's not really intense, but it's good to stay hydrated. Okay, we're going in five seconds for our five prisoner squats. So remember all the cues, okay? Three, two, one, and go. So making sure there's room for your hips to drop through between your heels, okay? So try and keep it consistent. I've got one more. And then when you're ready onto our reverse lunge into RDL. The legs are a bit wobbly after that, so take your time. Oh, my balance is terrible. <laughs> I'm really hoping nobody watches this one back tonight. Okay, going into my last one here. And I'll give us 30 seconds in from about now until we go into our last round of this. So glutes should be fired and ready to go by now. Nice and warm. And then we'll have a go at the arms in our next block. Okay, we're gonna go in 10 for our last round. In five, three, two, one, and go. Final round in this one.
remember to keep breathing. I know it seems really simple, but try and time it with your squat. So don't hold your breath too much at the bottom. You're down there for six seconds. And then onto our second exercise. Okay, and once we've done that, grab a drink. I'll give us a couple of seconds before we go into the next block. So we're going to be working the arms on the next block. So we're going to do four rounds of five tempo push-ups and eight black burns. So We've not done tempo push-ups before, and you can do this in whichever way you wish, but I want it to be really controlled. So that's the aim of this. So a tempo push-up is going to be three seconds on the way down, two second hold at the bottom and quick one second push-up, okay? So three, two, one, hold for two, and up. Okay, we're gonna do five of those. And black burns we've done before. So they're just quite similar to our floor angels on our front, arms out in front, hovering over and round to our back into that kind of handcuff position behind us. So working through that movement for eight repetitions. And we're going to do four rounds of those, okay? So we will get going with that in 10 seconds. So five tempo push-ups to start off with. Okay, in three, two, one, let's go. And then into our black burns once we've done the, fi the five push-ups. So by the time you get to your back, your hands should be facing, your palms should be facing the roof, okay? So we're going from palms down position to palms up behind us. And we will take 30 seconds before the next round from now. And we'll go in 15 seconds. In five seconds, get yourself set up for our tempo push ups. Three, two, one, let's go.
uh, and then into blackbirds. I do not have a lot of room in here. Okay, and 30 seconds before we go again. Halfway there on this block. Then once we finish this block, we're gonna head into some core finisher. Okay, we're going in 10 seconds for round three. In five, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, good job everyone. We've got one more round to go in 30 seconds. Last more, last more, last one. Wow, I don't know where that came from. Last round in 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, and go. Okay, so I think some of us will be nearly finished there. And just take a little drink before I explain our core finisher. So, okay, I think we're all finished there. So same as last week, we did 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off for two rounds and we had four exercises. So it's the same this week. Our four exercises are plank leg lifts. So I know our arms will be burning, but in a plank position and just hinging from the hip, using the glutes, 
don't need to do it too high, just lifting our legs, okay? So nice straight leg when we do that. So plank leg lift into single leg B set. So on our back, the feet can be touching the ground and just all the way up, V in the middle. So 30 seconds of single leg B sits into bear crawl hold. So we've done bear crawl before, I think. It's just a tabletop position, but hovering. So our knees slightly hovered off the ground. All right, he's gonna hold that strong position. I mean, I want you to think that you're holding a glass of water on your back the whole time. So you have to be in a nice straight position there. And then we have penguins. You might have not heard of this one, but I'm gonna try and move so you can see me. On your back, knees bent, and you're gonna tap the inside of each foot. So going side to side, the inside of your heel, and your, your body is raised slightly off the ground. So it's quite a good one for the, the core. So hopefully we've got those ones, but I'll, I'll explain them as we go through. So 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and we're gonna be starting in 10 seconds with our plank leg raises. Okay. In five, three, two, one, and go. In 10 seconds. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest. Onto our backs for single leg V sit in 10. Five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Halfway there. In five, three, two, one, and rest. Next exercise, a bear crawl hold. This is quite a tough one, but hold on. In five, three, two, one, let's go. So try and keep breathing through this. If I can talk through it, you can definitely keep the breath going nice and steady. We're already halfway there. And 10, hold on, so good. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Last exercise, penguins. So onto our backs again, knees bent. In five seconds, three, two, one, and go. Fifteen seconds. In five, three, two, one, and rest. Gonna go again, one more round. So into our plank leg lifts again. In five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Making sure you've got a nice wide base with the feet. Try and stabilize yourself. Already halfway there. In 
in five, three, two, one, breath. On to the back for our V sets in ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ten seconds to go. Five, three, two, one, rest. And next exercise, bear crawl hold. And we're going in five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Grounding through the feet and the hands, keeping that nice even position. In 10. Hold on. Five, three, two, one, and dress. Last exercise, penguins, in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. 10 seconds. And five. Three, two, one, and we are done. Excellent work. Nice job, everyone. Grab a drink. We'll go right into our stretches. So we're going to start off with a downward facing dog. So pushing the tailbone up towards the roof. And grounding down through the hands. So this nice stretch in the shoulders as well. And then coming down onto our knees and then into a child's pose. So sitting back onto our heels, child's pose. Stretch all the way out in front. And then coming up onto all fours into our tabletop position, we're going to do thread the needle hold. So open up to that right hand side and then thread the right hand through. Just let your shoulder rest onto the ground. And thread that arm all the way through enough to give you a stretch along the shoulder blade. And then pushing through the left hand, bring us back to tabletop, and then we're going to go on to the other side. So open up to the left hand side and thread the needle through. Right arm can come overhead just straight to stabilize and try and open up more. And then taking it back to our tabletop position. And we're going to go into pigeon pose next. So straightening into a plank position, left legs going up. So kind of knee towards the left hand, foot towards the right hand. 
and you can stay in this high position or we can go down into a lower position if that is too easy. And then walking the hands back up, sliding the leg back. And we're going to swap over. So into our plank position, right leg comes up and lower down if you want to. So that should be firing right into the glute. We really worked on that in our squats in our first section. So take time to stretch it off. And if you don't feel like you're getting enough of a stretch at the end of the session, please take some time to do it afterwards if you've got any other areas that are needing taken care of or stretched okay a couple more seconds here And walking the hands back up if you were in the lower position, sliding the knee from under you. And we will finish off there for that session. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming again. And I think you might be getting an email about Saturday. I'm not too sure. So just kind of keep your eyes on the emails with that um, if your parents let you know. So I might see you on Saturday. But thank you again, everyone. Hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you.